Yo, what is going on guys? Breezy here today because a brand new video. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm popping in because I'm editing the video and I noticed that this first part is really, really laggy. It looks ugly and disgusting. So here I am to explain to you guys what's happening in this clip. So you see these uh, chests right here? Yeah, I actually went through and I got a bunch of supplies and I was showing you guys the supplies because I was kind of proud of myself. And now skipping forward here, this is my gold farm. As you can see, there's a lot of blocks above ground. We basically lower everything into the ground and make it look pretty. Now, before leaving off this clip, I do want to say that there's other parts in the video that are a little bit laggy too, but not as laggy as this first clip. So I'm going to catch you guys later. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, so I finished the gold farm. We are all completed, but I forgot to show you guys my Christmas skin. How come nobody said anything? So if we just do this. Wait, okay, wait, hold on. This is a little bit awkward because my pants have cursive binding on them, right? And I was going to do this thing where I was like, oh, I try to move it, but it's binded to my body. And I was going to flap it in the air and kill myself. But the shoes are also not coming off. And that's not supposed to happen. So this is a little bit awkward, but we're still going to do the fly up and the little edit i guess you could say but like really really awkward did i really did i really just land in the water okay more awkwardness hold on hold on we gonna we gonna kill it So guys, this is my Christmas skin. As you can see, like we're little stitch. But what do you guys think about my skin, guys? Does it look cute or does it not look cute, huh? The back too, or oh, we have a cape on, but you already know. You know, your basic, simple Minecraft skin, guys. But yeah, today's episode is gonna be a little bit crazy. This is what I did already, Um, as you can see. We don't have nothing out here ugly, but this does look like it's floating now. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. Let me just go ahead and, um, yeah, okay, we won't turn it up to zero, but, you know, we'll turn it all the way down low. But yeah, I literally did not like the way that this looked at all. I thought it was the most ugliest thing ever, and I can't believe I actually built something that looked like that. But now, it's gone, but it's also floating in the air, kind of. I mean, I know it has that, but it's floating in the air, so I want to build, like, another, like, stick right here. Something to hold it up, you know. But if we come down here, because look at this, boom, I built a little archway. And yeah, so if we come down here, right? I'm testing everything. Everything seems to be working. Uh, we got our gold stuff filled back up. Over here, we have a problem with swords. I want to get rid of the swords, but you know, like every so often, a piece of gold goes through here. And I would, you know, it sucks to miss a piece of gold, but honestly, the amount of swords I'm getting right now is crazy. I used to never ever get swords. Something with the update caused me to start getting a whole bunch of swords now and I don't really like it. Am I gonna be able to take these off? Okay. I guess the game was just glitched. But I do wanna get new pants that don't have cursor binding on them. And I wanna work on a lot of getting a lot of other things. I just noticed my lights aren't on for my webcam. And nobody told me that either. You know, today's is not my day, guys. But look, lights light it up. So that's the first part. We already got this done. And yeah. What do we do next, you say? I don't know. I think I want to build some form of bridge to come from here to across over there. I want to build some stairs that go down here and down on that side from this side of the house. Because having to jump up these things, I mean, there's no problem, right? But it's just like, I don't feel like doing it. So let's see, what should we do first? The stairs or a bridge? And should we do like an arch bridge or should we do like a flat bridge? Hmm, decisions, decisions. Okay, let's do the stairs first. I think I'm just gonna do like a three, a three by three stairs. All right guys, so now that there's a number of stairs we can make, but honestly, I see that we have these birch ones right here. I think just for like them to be like, just to have stairs right here, just cause I'm tired. I think we're just going to use the birch ones. I, I just genuinely do. I don't know if I should pull this up forward or what should I do? 
this is honestly all gonna be temporary just for the time being because i want to start laying down some plans some stuff out all right temporary stairs are in we no longer have to just jump down we can just walk down the stairs perfect perfect um bridge a bridge is something i want to be permanent so that's why i want to see like what blocks should i build it because i kind of wanted to like go from here like from our little gold farm to our iron farm which i don't even think it's centered guys the whole reason why i built a gold farm in the first place was because i wanted to get into piglin bartering i wanted to do all that piglin trading stuff so maybe we should do that today but i also really want to get into villagers we need to update our book if we come into our base real quick i have this book right here of things that i wanted to accomplish and things that i wanted to build so things to do build an observatory don't know how to spell observatory that's probably spelled wrong build a military base under the observer right here. It's supposed to be observatory didn't forgot the why but probably still spelled it wrong so just ignore that edit the village which i'm going to tear down all the buildings in the village and then I'm going to build like modern houses. And I kind of want it to be like a military base over there. In a sense, like we're going to collect, um, we're going to be collecting like mobs. So if I can get like a supercharged creeper, we're going to collect it, any kind of mob basically. And we're going to like pretty much do experiments on it. Even though we're never going to do experiments on them. It's, they're going to be trapped in a, literally a room that we can just like watch and observe them in life, basically. Uh, build an iron farm, we did that. Build a villager breeder, we did that. Move villagers to trading hall, never did that. We don't even have a trading hall anymore. Build another hub, I started it, but I don't like it, so we're going to take it down. Move the animal farm and fight the weather. We actually already fought the weather, we have a beacon. Move the animal farm, yeah, I actually do want to get some places for my animals. Because if we come up here, I have three horses, literally three horses. I don't, I don't know why I said that twice, but I have three horses, again, literally. Uh, I have these horses. I want to give them some stalls. I want to give these guys an actual barn. I want to do some stuff. So, yeah, what the question is, what should we do first? I think what we're going to do first is we're going to work on the village. The village. Because I have some villagers that I've already was working on. So, basically, let's head over to the village. Also, no third person time lapse, by the way. Because, you know, I thought... I could come on here and do like a third person time lapse. I could go on my Xbox or my PlayStation and just join my world. Apparently you need to have PlayStation Plus or Gold and I don't have none of that. And honestly, I don't want to buy it. So there's that. So we can't do third person time lapses. So you're just going to have to either see like a first person kind of thing or no thing. It depends on how jarring the footage is, which is probably going to be very jarring if it's in first person. So I'll just see you when the village has been getting all the way taken down. Let's head over there right now. Oh, it's nighttime. It's nighttime. We're going to die. All right. So guys, you're seeing this right now. Go ahead and get a good look. And then. All right, guys, as you can see, I cleared out the village. Well, I just took the houses down and you already know, like, that's just that now. So everything's flat. I did notice something over here. This wall, they could actually escape. I did not know that until literally I was destroying everything and I saw one of them out there. And I'm like, how did you get out there? The wall was breached, okay? We got floating beds everywhere. So I think for the time being, right, while we're like setting up for the, these next houses, getting my block palette ready, I think I'm gonna build these guys like one big, not a big mansion, not a big house, a big square for all their beds to go in. Something like how this is right here. Which, this is where I used to have all their beds at. And then, I didn't like it because they kept getting stuck and they weren't going all the way to their beds. So, we're going to, like, get, like, a little bit bigger than that. And then, you know, just do a little bit of this. Do a little bit of this. Okay, there you go. A little sheltered place for their beds. Uh, not the cutest, not the prettiest the ugliest as a matter of fact if i'm going to be honest but hey they're sort of over shelter you know they can just run in get in bed got this little window i'll let me close that up but you know it's, it's not bad right it's just a little start for them to sleep in all right the idea behind the navy base is supposed to be some sort of like area 51 and we're supposed to like collect the mobs is what i want to do i just don't know how i'm gonna do that like some sort of like they're gonna be in a glass dome and they're gonna be like in their own little world 
I know I started flattening out an area right over here. So we might actually just take that and start and start building the actual like glass dome with their houses because I want at least 10 villagers living in this thing and it's supposed to be like okay we're watching them see how they live see how they act and basically you know like the Simpsons movie how they all lived in that dome I don't really remember what happened in the Simpsons movie except for that like Maggie and them escapes well, I said Maggie, and Maggie's the baby, but I just know that Homer, Bart, Lisa, you know, they all they all escaped, and they were all outside of the dome. But now what I want to do is either build the bridge, right, or build a farm for my animals, because I want to move them. But I really just want to build some horse stables. I eventually, I don't want to even have cow food or sheep or pig. I want to get golden carrots, and I want to do, like, the whole villager trading stuff. But I do want to keep my horses, even though I don't ever ride them. Just it would be cool to just keep them trapped. So guys, if I'm gonna be honest, this video is probably super short. I really do not know how long the video is, and no, I'm not getting ready to end it off now. But I've been trying to film this video for three days now, actually, like seriously. And every time I just I have to keep doing stuff. And now today I actually have to go to work, but that's not till later. So we have a little bit of time to like fix up some stuff. We flatten out the village. We got them doing that. What villagers trade glass? Because that's what the villagers were going to need. We're going to need to start thinking about all the villagers that we want to get. So let's go to the next page. And we're going to start things. Villagers that I need. Villager. Trading trading villagers. Trading villagers. Trading villagers that I actually need. So for sure, I want a farmer. Because that's how you get the golden carrots, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, maybe, oh, a librarian, a librarian. How do you spell librarian? Um, I didn't really think about what other villagers I want. I want a quartz villager, because I know there's villagers that can get you quartz. Which villager is that? No idea. Uh, guys, I'll pick it back up once I find out all the villagers that I want. All right, you guys, these are the villagers that I want to have. A farmer, a librarian, an armorer, a cleric, a mason, a toolsmith, and a weaponsmith. If you're wondering why we need a cleric, it's because the gold farm produces a lot of zombie flesh. All right, guys. So why not? So instead of just throwing out the flesh, we could just trade it for emeralds is what I thought. And then a farmer, we want it for golden carrots. All right, golden carrots. Librarian, we obviously want things like mending and other books like that armorer because if i die i can get some decent armor from them if not then i guess i could just make my own but you know an armorer a toolsmith and a weaponsmith which are two different things but they seem like the same thing and yeah so that is what we're going to be doing for this so i collected all the sand and all of this gravel and we have extra in the chest inside so I'm thinking maybe we could just build this out of concrete, some form of color concrete, maybe like a gray concrete or something. Let's go see what kind of colors we have down here. I know I don't have like literally any colors, but it doesn't worth a shot to check. So we have these red, we have a whole bunch of red actually. So we have some whites, not to mention we have a bone farm, bone farm. We have a skeleton farm, so from a black dye and a white dye, which I think we have very limited amount. We only have 30 ink sacks. And I don't really have an ink farm, so I don't really, I only want to use this if I really need to use this. Okay, so the thing about the villager trading hall also is I want to have a zombie obviously convert them. So we also need to figure out how to do that because I've never actually, I've never actually tried to do any of that before. You know, like I've seen YouTube videos of like people building it themselves in their own world and whatnot. But me personally, I have never went and was like, oh yeah, like, I think that was too much, too much dye and too much bone mill. But as I was saying, personally, I've never actually went and built one. I've seen people build them. Yeah, but not like, you know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, I have a bunch of tra uh, trap, trap doors because I'm supposed to rebuild my creeper farm because my creeper farm is actually across the map and I'm, I don't want to AFK there. I would much rather have it be here in this area. Maybe we can do that. Maybe we can just build a creeper farm right now for the time being. 
see, I don't, I don't know what to do because there's so many ideas in my head that I want to do that like, I don't know where to begin to do them. I definitely want to redo all of these. I want to do this. I need to get my creeper farm back because I need to get more gunpowder because I'm running out of rockets. I really am running out of rockets. Like that is the thing that is like, oh, that I am actually like scrounging around. Like I will not even take a full stack of rockets because look at how much I have. I have one more stack left and I'm pretty sure I only have one more stack at the farm. We're not going to the farm yet. Ugh. What do I do? Maybe I should build the creeper farm. Okay, so guys, I'm thinking, right? Would you guys be mad at me <laughs> if I built the creeper farm? Or would you guys be mad at me? Because I could just, oh my gosh, because I could just build it like right over here. Build it up in the air a little bit. Or should I build it underground? Uh, I don't know, I don't know, guys. I don't want you guys to be mad at me. Because if I come, if I come over here, right? Like if I show you guys my mine, right? Um, I dug a lot of this out already. I'm gonna die doing that one day. I just know it. But as you can see, I dug a lot of this out, right? Because I needed the stone. And like, yeah, like there's still like things like this in the middle, but roughly like, it's a lot of it is pulled, like a lot of it is mined out. I know this. It kind of looks bad because you see this. But I didn't want none of that. I literally just wanted the stone. That's why that's st all still up here. But look, I could put a creeper farm right here, but I don't know. I feel like I want it to be up above where people can see it at. Well, maybe not like super up in the air, but like if I build like say a creeper face out of concrete powder. I don't know where to begin. Honestly, the creeper farm is what takes a super duper long time. And it's gonna require me to literally light up everything around us. Every single cave, every single dark spot underground. We have to light up all of that. And do I really feel like doing that? Not really. But that's only if we want the best spawns and of course we want the best spawns. So you know, just forget it. I'm gonna do the creeper farm next video off camera. We are gonna get through and we're gonna set up this villager trading hall because that's really what we need right now, I think. Probably not, we definitely need rockets, but you know, I have a creeper farm already. If I need to AFK there, I will AFK there. No biggie. But I'll, so I'm gonna build a trading hall somewhere over here in this area. The question is, do I want it to be like underground? Cause I kinda want it to be away from that a little bit more, but it can't be near the village either. But the village is gonna be moving over slightly more that way. So I think like, this little flat area could be good enough. Now I think I kind of want to do like some form of like in the ground, like literally a hole in the ground. So lucky for me, I have a bunch of, I almost just said spoons. I literally said, luckily for me, I have a bunch of spoons. Luckily for me, I have a bunch of shovels. I have three. And now if we come out here, right here and we take this out, I know one of my shovels has curse of vanishing but i'm not really too mad about that one i found it so you know and we have our and we literally have a beacon too so it'll make it go by super quick all right guys now i got the beacon set up i think i'm gonna cut out like maybe like a how much i'm gonna cut out like maybe like a like a 15 by 15 hole in the ground and i don't know i'm not gonna go that deep into the ground maybe just like 10 blocks or so and this is where we're gonna have the villagers at right and then it's gonna be like a building on the back of it or like in the front of it i don't know how i want to do it yet and that's where it's gonna be two buildings so it's gonna be like a building in the back and that's where the villagers are gonna die and become zombies or maybe on the side of it that's where they're gonna die and become zombies. And then in the front of the building, that's where you can like walk in and go down. It'll be like a little storage area container. So I'm gonna check back in with you guys when I have the hole dug. So once you guys see, it'll be a big old hole right here. Let me know if this is too close by the way. But by the time you guys tell me, it'll be too late anyway. So let's see this hole, right? Shoo. 